Welcome to Channels Business Global with me, Juliana Olayinka, from our studios here in London. Over the next half hour, we'll be looking beyond the business headlines by giving you in-depth perspective on the stories that are affecting all of us. Coming up on today's show. Online business empires, is it possible to capitalize on your social media following in 2019? Payment processing and remittances, what role does the middleman play in facilitating smooth and cost-effective transactions? Later we'll be hearing from Michael Simeon and Mohammed Ibrahim Jagger of the online payment platform Vogue Pay. And the latest updates on British business. With me in the studio this week, serial entrepreneur and founder of Mental Match Her, Mary Mola and media mogul Linda Ikeji. Now, before we get into the discussion, here are some business headlines from across the globe. According to a South Korean government report, an increasing number of family-run businesses are giving up on plans to have blood relatives inherit their company. Korea's inheritance tax of 50% is the second highest among OECD nations, one of the main reasons why 84% of the country's mid-cap firms have no succession plan. The world's largest furniture retailer is shutting down its only factory in America. IKEA will end production in Virginia at the end of this year and move to Europe where the raw material prices are cheaper. The Danville facility, which opened 11 years ago, employs 300 workers. The Swedish brand owns manufacturing facilities in nine countries, employing roughly 20,000 people. This week, U.S. President Donald Trump hosted Made in America at the White House, highlighting the contributions of entrepreneurs to the American economy. During the occasion, the president signed an executive order demanding that 75% of the value of any Made in America products must be sourced in the U.S. That's an increase from 50% previously. But now over to our first topic. In this digital era, social media has become the main channel for marketing. Conglomerates, influencers and small businesses have successfully turned their offline activity into a passive income stream. With most of us spending a significant amount of time viewing what others advise us to wear, think, eat and say, is it still easy to make money on social media? Or is the filter far from a reality? Let me ask you first, Mariam, is, is the filter far from the reality or is there still coins to be made on social media? There is absolutely still coins to be made on social media. If you have, if you have, the, right, if you have the right product um, and you're engaging, I think there is absolutely still coins because there is always people. Linda Ikeji, welcome to London. Welcome to Thank Channels you. Business Global. Thank Your you name me. is synonymous with media in yeah. Nigeria. And I would say you were the first journalist, the first blogger to be honest with people and tell them that you're making money. Yeah. Why did you decide to do this? And when did you realize in your career that actually writing stories about people can turn some coin. I mean, when I started in 2006, I obviously didn't know how big it was going to get. I didn't know that people that you could ever make money from social media. It was something that we all started out of passion. Mm -hmm. But as time went by, uh, more people started coming on social media and uh, coming on uh, coming online. And um, so my, you know, I went from like 3,000 people to 300,000 people. Wow. And then the brands were watching. Mm. The brands are watching and um, brands are looking for platforms where they can sell their goods and services. They can market their goods and services. And so if you have a platform that has eyeballs, they'll come to you. So eventually I was getting eyeballs and they started coming and I started making a lot of money. And I was like, really? This can happen? Wow. Um, and then, you know. Do you regret ever being so honest? Because you were one of the first. <laughs> Do I regret be, it? No. Yeah, because you, I you, don't. you almost revealed the secrets, and I want <laughs> some of those behind the scenes. Yeah, and, and immediately I revealed it. Immediately I let people know that I was making a lot of money from, blog, from blogging. Like, virtually every young person in Nigeria wanted to be a blogger. They wanted to mm. own their own platform. Last week, you posted an event on Saturday night. I saw it while I was in bed. Sunday morning, I was there. Not everybody can get a crowd like that. How do you do it? My following, I guess, uh, for Instagram would be considered micro, mm. uh, a, a micro influencing. So across the, the different accounts, maybe 20,000 followers on Instagram, wow. which is nothing in comparison to Linda's 4 million. Mm. However, 
I know those 20,000. Some of those people have been following me for 10 years. Yeah. They know 15 me. 15 years. <laughs> <laughs> they, they know me. They, 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 they've seen my story, the highs, the lows, the baby, the prison, the businesses, everything. And, and because of that, it's almost like a cult following mm, um, that I've kind of created. So those people are pretty much, they're ready. I think I, 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 was, I was kind of decided to do a breakfast um, for women and I completely forgot to share the flyer because baby <laughs> stuff. And I, I shared it, I think, at like 11.30 or 11.45. The following morning, I had the full attendees. So, but that can only happen with the consistency mm -hmm. of never forgetting to post, always engaging. Linda, what do you think of people like Mariam? Because, of course, some people would say the dot-com era is dead. You've managed to transfer from just being a blog online to also being popular on social media but is it is it very competitive is it hard for people that were more traditional with their digital stories to move on to Instagram I think that there are different types of people um, on the on, on Instagram and different types of people on on the on the blog um, the people that I that are still on my blog don't really use social don't use, use social media like that there are still people like that plenty of them wow. so if you post something on, in, on Instagram they will never say it but if it's on the blog they will see it and so it was very important for me to have those the, the different types of people mm -hmm. the ones on social media and the ones on the blog there was a time last week I think Twitter shut down Instagram shut down Facebook shut down all within like the same hour and some people were saying look young women those of you that are just relying on these social media platforms mm. to make your money be careful because if they pull the plug you're out of business Instagram social media or any blog it has to have a purpose there has to be an assignment behind why you're using certain platforms as Linda rightly said she has an assignment for dot com and there is an assignment for Instagram. WhatsApp also crashed. So WhatsApp stories, I... My They're all usually owned by the same people yeah. these days. So they all crash at the same, at time. same time. So I've managed to make my WhatsApp stories as strong as my Instagram. I have to post every day. Wow. Wow. And kind of... So if you post, what are the kind of average likes that you might get for a well, post? Well, it depends on what I'm posting. I, I do a lot of inspirational writing. And when I do something inspirational, I get thousands of comments because I have over 4 million people and like you said earlier like you have 20,000 plus uh, Instagram but they are dedicated uh, followers who have followed you um, for years like I have 4 point something million on my blog I have 5 point something million people who wow. come there on a regular basis so I'm assuming that for out of the 5 million on my blog for Four million of them are following me on social social media, mm. so I cannot pl uh, I cannot I cannot I can't afford not to uh, yeah. post every day because people. That's your business. Mm. That's my business. That's you know when I tell people that, what what I am I, I'm a private person really, but because of the work I do, I cannot be private. My business is on social media. I make money on socials on social media, it's and I make money from dot com. It's interesting. There was a, a discussion going on recently where Instagram said that they were thinking of taking away the like button because, of course, especially in this country, and I'm I don't not approve. sure what it's like in Nigeria. <laughs> I don't approve. I was going to ask you, but there are so <laughs> many young girls that will <laughs> do it? anything for a like. Yeah. Some people have actually committed suicide because of how Jeez. they've been taunted on social media but then again some said hang on this is not good for the black community because so many of us are making money yeah. through social media yeah. in a way that we can't in a traditional sense the brands can see that you are you have an engaging audience but people yeah. buy linda people buy i've been tempted yes it's a conversation really? i've been tempted to buy of likes course, of, no not the likes yeah I've, yeah, I've never bought followers by the way i've never bought followers i've been but tempted buy, because i'm just thinking ah, but this one has fifty thousand. does it does it mean you're more popular my clients and my following they want to hear me they don't want to yeah. hear they and because they've been following you for such a long time they know the tone they know if it's mm. you they know if it's not you so and, 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 I, and I don't want to do yeah, it happens to me too pre, um, <laughs> I, I pre posted stuff yeah. uh, so for me it's kind of organic as and when but um, what you were just saying now in terms of buying following for those of us that know, it's very hilarious that somebody will have 2,000 followers and I call in the morning and you've got 30,000 followers. And it Darling, happens. We, and we know. <laughs> so what happens is that we laugh at you because yeah. we think... And we know. We might not we, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then the, the brands who are looking for they influencers, know. they know too. Really? Because if you have 30,000 followers, are you going to buy likes for every post yeah. you put up? 
You know, I think people are doing it. They people, are. people are yeah. so desperate. You'll be surprised at just how many people are, are, are desperate for social media fame, and they call it clout, don't they? Yeah, yeah but clout, the thing is, clout, with the likes and the comments now, how you catch these people out is that when you look at the, and these are what the brands look at, because one of the businesses is I build brands for people, so I look and I see what kind of engagement is. Is it sincere engagement? Exactly. And the brands know. They know. Uh, they know. So for my advice. So I better not do it. Don't no, you don't. Don't, <laughs> don't do it. Grow do it. Grow and, and, and also, yeah. you know, for me as a brand or as a person, I would want to see my growth. I would want to see, I just hosted exactly. an event. Exactly. Yeah. How many people approve? Did they like it? Didn't they like it? Did they engage? What can I do differently? What do I need to change? Otherwise, your business wouldn't grow wow. how it's supposed to. Wow. Because you're selling to fake people, people that don't exist. Right. So how is it going to grow? Right. You're both very successful. I can't let you go without asking you some question. What would you say is the quickest way to increase your social media following? I'll let um, them go first. For me, it's, uh, I would say, post as much as you can okay. every day. Okay. Um, unfortunately, the young generation we have now, they like a certain kind of lifestyle. Mm. That's why a lot of young girls and young girls uh, fake mm. a lot. There's somebody called, I don't know if I can mention his name, but he's... Um, He's not, f he's not famous for anything other than showing off luxury lifestyle. I don't think you need to mention his name. We I'm all know who it is. Yeah. We all know it and is. Then Mariam, I'm sure you <laughs> even know. <laughs> and you see millions of people following. Yeah. Uh, maybe because he's living their dreams. They go there, they see the cars, they sell the the um, designer wears and you're wondering and they, I don't the nice food the nice ah, let's food, not the, food. the hotels the home <laughs> and you don't even don't know, know if it's <laughs> real <laughs> you don't even know if it's real or yeah. it's just all yeah, or all, all you know all fake mm. but that's the that's what it attracts people mm. you and you know us, all of us we like it I might like not follow it. you but I'll look through your feed <laughs> post <laughs> Look at the luxury holiday. Yeah. Yeah. That really gets people to follow you. Wow. If you're if you are very generous too, giving out money, mm -hmm. that's the easiest way to another easy way to get people to follow you. Wow. You know, say today I'm going to be giving doing some giveaways. People are going to follow. Yeah. And they'll keep yeah. they'll stay. But that's good advice for glue some, to your for page. Some girls hoping who are that you make up because some of them have all of these products to give away. What would you say? How did you manage to get 50 women to have breakfast on a Sunday 50? morning? And she posted it on a Saturday night. I was there. How do you how do you do that? What's the secret to that success? Um, the secret for me, um, and I think we posted I think eleven thirty at night. Yes. And then the breakfast was like nine a.m. or something like that. So I don't know the time people were able to check, um, but I guess people are always awake. Is know your space. I would never try and get an audience full of makeup artists to meet me for breakfast and in that morning mm -hmm. they wouldn't come because i don't know anything about makeup yeah um i wouldn't get um, a group of um food bloggers to come and meet me at that time own your space stay in your lane and do what works for you and build gradually mm -hmm. you know I, I met a young lady um last week she came to see me for mentorship and she said look i'm 14 years old and i've just started my youtube page and i've been a month in it and i've got a thousand views wow and i was like wow that's incre incredible <laughs> and i said okay just do that. Whatever you've been doing to get a thousand views, just continuously do that. You don't need to be like anybody else. And it's it's easier said than done, but I think we've all kind of, I've been, I know I have, I've gone on Instagram and seen somebody's wedding and, and you know you saved it, like, oh, this looks good. And seen somebody's holiday and you saved it, <laughs> yeah. that looks good. Yeah. And, and there's that, and it kind of feeds an unhealthy desire mm. um, for, for what you're supposed to kind of not have. So I say stay in your lane and be patient. Yeah. You know, all this amazing success story from Linda has told you that you can have the house, you can have it all, but you've just got to work a bit hard. And Wow. Mm -hmm. Me, I've taken notes on that. Uh, Linda, uh, last passing words from you, especially for young, upcoming Nigerian bloggers who look up to you. I'm sure they'll be watching and saying, Linda is speaking now. <laughs> for bloggers or just people generally? In general. general. Uh, what would I say? Um, I always advise people to be patient. That's one of the, the virtues that a lot of people lack. Uh, be patient, work hard, believe in your business, believe in yourself. Um, don't get, don't believe all the hype you see on social media. Everybody's fighting a battle. Everybody's dealing with one issue or the other, but they put up what they want you to see. And then when you see those, th that lifestyle, that life, you think that their lives are great, and then you feel depressed because you're, you don't think your life is, you're doing very well in, your, in, your, in whatever it is you're struggling with. Everybody's struggling. So don't believe all the hype you see on, on social media. Don't believe the hype. Don't. don't believe. Don't, but there's don't. still money to be made. <laughs> Look at these women. There you is a lot of money to be made on social media. <laughs> a lot. And you have to hit them up if you want that advice but <laughs> Marion Mola, Linda Ikeji, thank you so much for joining me.
Coming up, we'll be hearing from Michael Simeon and Mohammed Ibrahim Jagger of the online payment platform Vogue Pay. See you after the break. <laughs>